So guys, welcome back to one more amazing lesson of LinkedIn marketing course. And in this particular class, we are going to talk about how to use LinkedIn analytics for your company page. Yes, guys, we have already created a company page in our LinkedIn platform. Now we are going to analyze the data of that company page through analytics because it will help us to create our future strategy for this company page or if you have multiple company pages you can go through all of those analytics and you can figure out basically you can create your future strategy for these company pages right according to your data now in which case you should or you have to analyze these analytics before creating your future strategy so here i have mentioned if you are getting good engagement and good results then you should check out the analytics and you can create a future strategy according to that data and get even more good results. And on the other hand, if you're not getting good engagement or good results, still you should check out the data. Still you should analyze the data and then find out where you are lacking and how you can create your future strategy foolproof and gain good amount of traffic and engagement. Right now let's directly jump into my LinkedIn platform and let's analyze the analytics for our company page or of our company page. So guys, as you can see right now, I am in my LinkedIn profile. This is the home section of my profile and this is the account which we have created and the page also we have created in this account itself, right? Now we don't have that much data in this account, but still I'm going to show you the page and the analytics so that you can go through your page and the analytics and check out that the uh, crucial data, the precious data so that you can build your future strategy accordingly by analyzing that data right now for that you need to go to this me icon as you can see this is the profile picture uh, you can see over there now you need to click on your uh, company page which is this in your manage section you'll be able to see the pages which you have created in your account so i'm clicking on this company page and once i click here i'll be able to see the page like this where I'm I'll be able to see the analytics over here and here I'm able to see the data related to my page now if I want to analyze the these data a bit deeply for that I need to click on this option analytics option on the left hand side menu right here I can see analytics if I click on this I'll be able to see different kind of tabs over here in the analytics option right the first one is visitors so here you'll be able to see all the visitors who have visited your uh, profile, who have visited your account, not account, your page basically, this company page, right? So as I already told you that we don't have that much data, but still you can check out these matrices on your account, on your profile page, company page, so that you can find out the best performing days of your LinkedIn page and what are the content were posted on those days you can check out that as well now once you have analyzed your visitors data you can check out the followers data where you can see all the followers new followers in last 30 days then follower matrix basically this is the chart right where you'll be able to see the followers whether it is sponsored or organic right all the followers will be shown here then follower demographics so here you'll be able to see the demographics as well by location, by company size, by job function, industry, or by seniority. So these are the uh, filtration you can do in the follower demographic option, right? Then here we do have all followers option. So all in all followers, you get two options, people and pages. So obviously pages can also follow you. So it is already mentioned here that you want to see people or the pages right now once you are done with your followers you can go to the lead section where you can check out the leads if you have created a lead generation form leads and form and you can bring out the leads from that particular leads and form so we haven't created leads and form any here that's why we are not able to see so but if we want to see the leads for that we need to create a lead gen form and then we need to use that lead gen form right now in the content section, you'll be able to see all the content which you have published in your page and then the 
engagement what what are the engagement you are getting how many reactions how many comments how many reports posts you are getting then here you will be able to see the matrix impression wise unique impression click reaction comment repost engagement rate so these are the filters you can do in the matrix section right again here the organic and the sponsored post post will be shown right so we have already posted one thing which is uh, basically the organic one as you can see here then the content engagement so there is no engagement in this particular page that's why we are not able to see but you can go through your page where you might have some good amount of engagement then competitors so here you can check out your competitors as well and as a competitor it is showing our main page which is marketing fundas right then uh, a bada business then duracell company then these are these it is taking linkedin is taking these companies as a competitor if i hit the continue button this will be saved as my competitors right if i want i can remove these things as well now in this competitor list i am at the down basically i am at the last of this list right so in order to go up i have to perform better basically i have to uh, gain good amount of followers good amount of new followers then only i'll be able to rank in this list right so this is how you can do the benchmarking as well in the competitors option right and you also get few more extra options over here like you can add few more competitors if uh, the competitors are relevant to your business right then the employee advocacy what is this employee advocacy means basically what are the things on which topics your employees are talking about basically how they are reacting how they are interacting with your company's post right so this is totally about your employees that how they are doing on the linkedin platform what are the activities they are doing with the with this particular page right so you can check out whether your employees are doing good amount of uh, engagement or not and this basically helps your organization to prove as a good and healthy organization where people can or the where the employees can work in a good environment and with a good work life balance right so i hope you got the point how you can analyze the analytics of your professional or your business page and after analyzing these data you can plan your future strategy accordingly right so this is the main aim of this particular video to introduce the analytics part of our company page so let's wrap up this video here i'll be meeting you in the next video i hope this video was helpful for you let's meet in the next video till then bye bye and yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button